There's little comfort that can be gained in these corridors. Even though they're as finely worked as they are, they are full of the undead and horrible Denzians of the dark. I must press forward quickly, though, as every moment that I linger gives the wraiths chance to reform their corporeal bodies, or incorporeal as the case may be. They sort of shift in and out of corporealness. I just don't like wraiths, and I don't like ankegs either. I'm starting to find more and more things that are just worse than owl bears and carrion crawlers, and I didn't think that was possible. But if there's anything I've discovered in my many, many adventures, it's that you should always expect things that you don't expect. Expect the unexpected, I was told. A little confusing in itself, if you expect the unexpected, is it? I shouldn't ponder riddles like that, I should keep moving. Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Dungeon Hacker. When last we left off, the fifth level of this dungeon is continuing to be a very nerve-wracking one, and one that I can understand wouldn't be the most fun to play if you weren't saving very often. And definitely if you were playing a hardcore run of this uh, game, where if you died, that was it, because uh, wraiths are a very nasty foe. And I am very glad that there were no enemies beyond that door. I also don't like the fact that there are quite a lot of long corridors that lead to uh, corners that are very tight. Because this gives me very little visibility when it comes to finding out if there are any foes on my path. With wraiths, I'm very cautious. With the ankegs, I'm still cautious, but for completely different reasons, and the game is giving me two directions. If in doubt, go the way that looks like it's less likely to uh, have anything significant, and I was wrong, there is definitely something significant down here. Never mind, there is nothing down here. One enemy has already respawned, and uh, I don't want to back up more than I have to. There is a uh, hidden switch here. It's not very well hidden, that is. It's uh, quite obvious with uh, that wall design. Anything here? The answer is a resounding no. I don't like the fact that there is uh, a lack of enemies anywhere. Having no foes around just makes it that when you encounter an enemy like there, you're just very worried about what that foe is. I mean, is that foe a wraith? Is that foe a ankeg? I don't know. That's a locked door, so we're not going to find any uh, foes that way. What about... Th that is a wraith! Hello? We're not even going to let you get close. We're not even going to let you get one attack off. I'll be very surprised if any wraith gets a single attack off while we are here. Because I'm just not letting them get anywhere near us. There is one locked door here. It's in a corner by the looks of it. We should probably explore. That said, it really doesn't look like it's in that much of a corner. But we should explore it now. I do not want to have to uh, backtrack back to here. Definitely. Hello, Mr. Ankeg! How are you? Would you like to perish? I'm really glad to see you in a strange way, because you are not going to drain all of my experience. At least I hope you're not. I am the first Wraith Ankeg. Oh no! You now have no levels of experience. And then, that was a sad day. Anything over here? There is another winding corridor. This game just loves winding corridors right now. It's like, hey, can we make them any more windy? I think we can! And then they designed an even windier corridor. I can imagine the architect of this dungeon. So what do you think of the dungeon? It's nice, but oh, that was very bad. I need to back up a lot more. You saw the attack animation there of the Wraith, and I am very relieved that it didn't hit, because that would have been one level down the drain, just as we're about to uh, likely get another level. Which way do we want to go? Do we want to head up, or do we want to head down? We want to head down, because down is uh, very unlikely to have anything good in it. There we go, we have eliminated that possibility. I really don't like that attack animation. That's really, really worrying. Anything over here? There are multiple doors. This door opens by a switch, and this door opens by a lock. We don't have the key for that, so we're gonna have to come back here and very quickly turn this way. Hello? 
Ah, did you come out of the wall? I don't think you did, but I'm just going to back up even more, because I don't want to say hi to you. Did you come out the wall? The answer is no, you, you can't have come out of that wall. You could have come out of the other wall, though. You could have come out through these walls. It appears as though something caught its dinner here. Probably an ank egg. But what could it have possibly caught apart from another of its kind? I don't want to know. Hello, Mr. Wraith! How are you? Would you like to die? Probably not, but you don't get a choice in the matter. You're waiting there, aren't you? You're not anymore. We're just going to uh, go around this corner, and you're going to give chase, and... Uh, Oh my, the uh, design of the wraiths in this game is really horrifying. I mean, they do pretty well in all the monster manuals in designing the uh, monsters and their appearance. That door just opened, and I'm very glad that I moved away very quickly, because oh dear. That was very fortunate. Very fortunate indeed. That could have ended badly. We're just going to uh, rest after this opponent, I think, because the flame blade has expired. Good idea! Let's rest because Flame Blade has expired. There's no other reason, just that we don't have Flame Blade anymore. I mean, we could cast Flame Blade again, but I'm not going to take that chance. I'm not going to take any chances with this level because twice already we have nearly lost a level. And I'm very fortunate that we haven't already. Let's uh, save here, shall we? There we go. We're already overwriting the saves from the uh, beginning. Never again will I be able to return to that point. I can imagine uh, going back to that point and just telling Celadrad, uh, turn back while you can. Just, just leave. Any other enemies here? No, there are no other enemies. But there is one enemy there, and I have done something very silly and backed myself into uh, this area where we need to back up a lot more and head this way. Just, oh, that is something that's, uh, that's a wyvern. That is a wyvern. We want to go this way. Right now. That is the enemy that we were told about in the parchment. That can poison you. Oh dear. We have already found the difficult enemy for the level. And it's a very difficult enemy indeed. It's a wyvern. I don't want to get up close to that wyvern. Hello, Mr. Wraith. I'm actually really glad to see you now because, uh... Wraiths are not as bad as poison. There we go, we've gained a level of experience rather than losing one. Isn't that great? We should probably, uh... We don't have 7th level spells, I really wish we did right now, though. We want neutralize poison! Just in time, eh? Just in time. What else do we want? We could have water breathing as well while we're here. Uh, that should do nicely. Let's rest, shall we? We'll rest right here, and uh, have a look at the map, is there? Are there any foes that have appeared? There are two foes in that room, and there's still only one foe there. We're actually making some pretty sound progress in uh, exploring this level. Let's get ready for this uh, inevitably dangerous fight. That was a wyvern. It's unmistakable. The uh, poisoned barb on their tail is something I should avoid. Why am I even doing this? No amount of treasure is worth all of this. No amount of treasure is worth dying at the uh, claws of a wyvern, or the ethereal grasp of a wraith, or just being melted by an ankeg. I must press forward. Going back by now would be far too dangerous. Far too dangerous. Hello, Mr. Wyvern! You're going to head this way, aren't you? There is only one thing I can take solace in. And that is that you are really slow. You're really slow. Do not want to get hit by you though, so I'm just going to uh, back up. I don't think you can. Uh, don't think you have any breath weapons. I know the dragons do though, so when we find a dragon, and this enemy is already gone, that was nowhere near as difficult as the uh, ghost warrior. Here's a throwing hammer. Is it a magical throwing hammer by any chance? Let's first defeat the other enemy that's, uh, in this room. Where is that other foe? It's over there. Hello? Would you like to come over here? What kind of... There's an enemy there as well. That's probably going to open that door at some point. There are two enemies in there! 
And there is a wraith. Hello! We're just going to, uh, back away and, uh, are you already dead? You're already dead! That's a relief. We don't know what that one does. We're gonna open this door and it's just an ankeg. After fighting a wyvern, I'm glad to see you. The uh, wyvern never hit us, which is a relief because I imagine it hurts. Quite a lot. I mean, the ankeg hurts by itself and uh, the ankeg is not a wyvern. It was flying though, which is uh, something to note. The uh, wyvern was flying. Very low to the ground, but it was flying. And there we are, no, uh, no enemies in sight, but there's definitely- Hello, Mr. Rankeg, there's definitely another enemy, and we're already at 19 health. We need to, uh, watch out. Maybe this, uh, throwing hammer that we found is a magical one that will return to us. There is only one way to find out, and that is to, uh, heal up first, because there is no way that I'm going to, uh, you can't, um, can you remove the flame blade? You can't unequip the flame blade. Uh, there is an enemy right there around the corner. It's an ankeg. That's fine. It's actually not fine at all. Let's uh, quickly switch this back. There we go. We'll just uh, quickly back away from you. I know you're really hungry, but I'd rather you didn't chow down on us. We are uh, not very tasty at our chainmail, and also because we're going to kill you. Hopefully, anyway. There we go! Enough magical hammers to the face and any ankeg will go down. Any more enemies in here? This is a big room. Hello! There's an enemy right there! It was just a moment of just looking at the enemy, the enemy looking at me, the enemy going, hello! And then me going, oh, there's an enemy there. Just that moment of realization. We have a moment, let's have a look and see if that is a magical throwing hammer. There's only one way to find out, and that is to use, uh, take magic? It is a magical throwing hammer! Now, is it a returning magical throwing hammer? Let's find out. Just got to, uh, wait a moment. Is it a two-handed throwing hammer? It might very well be. So we'll have to uh, check that out once we uh, have rested. I'd rather not get rid of the spiritual hammer right now. Although the uh, throwing hammer, even if it does return to us, is unlikely to be better than the spiritual hammer, it does mean that we won't have to cast a spell all the time to use it. What is down here? More enemies? What is this? It's a journal page! Let's read it very quickly, shall we? Just uh, put this... I don't know, we'll put that... we'll drop this rock for now. I found it a good idea to save several potions of Restore Strength for the dungeon areas that drain one's strength. Really? That seems like an obvious thing to do! But no, to most adventurers, you don't prepare for that. And then things happen that are terrible, like losing all your strength. We don't have to worry about that, because we have a, uh, pair of gauntlets that will keep our strength at a ridiculously high level. There are enemies, uh, the troglodytes, that will uh, drain your strength when they hit you. Also, that is a spiritual hammer plus two, if you're curious, because we have uh, Detect Magic on right now, and let's have a look and see if that was a wyvern. The answer is, that was a wyvern. We don't want to fight any more of them, but I don't think we're going to be uh, that fortunate. We don't have that key, do we? And enemies are starting to appear there. I really don't like the fact that enemies are starting to appear there. We definitely don't have this key. We're gonna have to come back to that, and uh, that doesn't fill me with much joy. Where are the enemies? Are they... They're down there somewhere. I'm definitely gonna look at the map right now. They're not in a place where they can hurt us at the moment. What's in here? Nothing. Always worth checking, though. Hello, enemies! Are you around here? Are you wraiths, or are you just ankegs? You're up there. I really don't want to take a chance that you're going to be wraiths, and... Aha! You are wraiths! Definitely wraiths! We're just going to take care of you, and go around this corner, and take care of the other enemy that's behind you. We have a lot of area where we can back up. Are you also a wraith? You're also a wraith! I'm just going to keep a healthy distance. This distance seems more than healthy enough. 
I can't say that you're very healthy because you're wraiths and therefore dead. There we go. And now you are even deader. We want to go this way, I think. We need to find a fiery key for that. It's the only door that we haven't been able to uh, unlock as we've been going along. That's reassuring. Oh, that's not reassuring. That is not reassuring at all. Hello, Mr. Wraith. How are you? I'm just going to, uh, you know, kill you. And our hammer has not come back. Our hammer has now come back. I like the fact that it can phase through walls to try and get back to us. What should actually happen is, uh, if it wasn't a uh, spiritual hammer, hello Mr. Ankeg, is that it would uh, return back to the square where you threw it from, and if you weren't there to pick it up, it would just clatter to the ground and you'd have to then go and grab it again. I hope that hammer that we found is a really, really good one. Also, there is an enemy approaching us. Hello Mr. Wraith, did not want to go round that corner and find that you were there to say hi. Don't want to shake your hand. Don't want to find out what you've been doing all this time, because what you've been doing all this time is killing adventurers. And I'd rather you didn't kill us. <clears throat> and there's nothing there. I don't think you can ever go through the uh, bits of war where there are small bits of scenery to uh, click and look at. So which way is less likely to? That way is more likely to be a dead end. But then again, both of them could uh, lead to long extended areas, so I'm going to save, just in case. Let's go up. Up leads to more ank eggs. Okay, I could deal with ank eggs, and I'm also going to go around this corner so that uh, enemies can't flank us. That would be the worst thing that could happen. Imagine being flanked by a wraith. That would be rather bad. We're actually going to rest right now. This will allow me to check how that um, throwing hammer that we found functions. It is a really nasty looking hammer. Or just, uh, where is it? It is... somewhere. There it is. How does it work? We're gonna put it in our hand here. It is too heavy for me to use. I'm not strong enough. That must be a particular magical weapon. I believe it may be... a titan's hammer? I'm not sure, but um, I need to be even stronger to use it. That may happen at some point, but uh, I have done this wrong, haven't I? Yes, I have. I need to uh, do Spiritual Hammer first, and then do Flame Blade. Much better. We'll hold on to that hammer for sure, because if we do find a way to uh, become even stronger, we'll be able to destroy everything in our path with it and likely the entire dungeon while we're at it, just uh, cleaving through the walls to make headway. We'll just uh, move forward very carefully. Very carefully indeed, and we're going to save again. You never know, with a game this old, something could go horribly wrong, like it crashing, or something like that. That is a... what if I... oh dearie me! They can uh, share the same space! I have now learnt this, because I walked too far forward and found two of them, on one square. Oh goody, I said. Definitely no oh goody here. There is nothing good to be uh, found out with that piece of news. But they are dying, which is handy. But they will be back. Pesky, tenacious wraiths that they are. And they are gone. I think we should uh, keep exploring up here. Is there anything over here? The answer is, there's something over here. I am exploring... okay, there is, uh, nothing here. But it was worth checking, just in case. There might have been something nasty. We will check the map quickly. There is that way, and there's also this way. It looks like both of these routes, there are also enemies that are respawning. The, uh, very difficult enemy never does respawn. Hmm which I'm very happy about. There's more this way. Whew! I managed to miss those spikes. Ah, there are spikes on the floor. Did not notice that. I might want to go the other way to start with and uh, return there later. There is a switch that I can press. You know what, I'm going to press it. This might be a mistake. This might be a big mis- okay, it's not that bad, that's just an ankeg. 
just an ankeg. I'm slowly starting to get the hang of fighting these enemies, but I never thought I'd say that about ankegs. Maybe I should make a uh, career out of it at a later date. Not out of fighting them, though. I would be happy to never find them ever again. And this is when the next level combines wraiths and ghost warriors, and absolutely destroys us. Do you know what? We'll shut that for now, and we'll stop here. And just in time too, as an enemy was about to walk up to us. For when we come back, folks, we'll continue to explore this level. We'll just uh, double check the map again. There's not actually that much more for us to look at. There may be a bit up here, and a little bit here. There's this area, and this area. We've probably explored about 75% of it. We'll have to go past those spikes again, though. I hope that we can, and this is when the game goes, No! You can only walk past those spikes once, and if you don't, you die. I wouldn't put it past the game to do that. And so, when we come back, we'll continue to explore this level very carefully, with our ridiculous throwing hammer that we cannot use because we aren't strong enough even though we have 19 strength. That is a ridiculously powerful hammer. So I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. I really don't like the idea of resting here, but perhaps I have no alternative if there are enemies all around. Just a moment of pause, and then I will press on. I really don't like this dungeon. Did the sorceress know about all these enemies? The Ankegs, the Wyverns, the Gargoyles, the Ghost Warrior? Is this why she sent me rather than anyone else? Did she send other people before me? I'll have to ask her when I get back. If I get back. Later.